Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to just the second episode of my VGC style series. Um, it's been a long old time since I uploaded the video last, mainly because in that time it has been Christmas, it's been New Year, and I've moved home. Um, I only just got internet the other day and I've now finally found some time to record another video. So, um, we're going to be going in today with a different team that I have built since uh, we last made a video. I mean, I did record some other episodes um, with the Milotic team. So, depending on whether I want to upload those or not, um, I'm not sure yet because we are now in a new season. As you can see, I'm only in Tier 4. Um, I think I finished last season in Tier 6 after only playing like 8 games and I went 6 and 2. So, um, I haven't touched this season yet. Like, I think the, the, the meta has kind of shifted a bit. Um, but it should be a good it should be a good game. I'll show my opponents my team, why not? Um, but today we're going to be running a Sun team, which I made quite a while ago. So like I said, the meta's changed a bit. I don't actually know if this is still going to be any good or not. Um, but we have got Charizard, um, which is like the main Dynamax Pokemon here. Shiny as well. I was very lucky to breed a nice shiny solar power, timid Charmander. Uh, Gastrodon, um, Torkoal obviously for the sun. We've got Shift Tree, which is quite fun to use with Chlorophyll. Um, we've got Stonjourner, Power Spot, um, and we have got Komoo. Uh, mainly because it kind of covered a lot of the weaknesses of the team quite well. And it's a Pokemon which I don't see used that often, so my opponents might not really kind of know what to expect from it. So let's just go into this. Um, because we're only in tier 4, we're not in max tier yet, the games might not be the best, so I do apologise in advance. Um, but I do hope that after a few games we'll be getting up to a higher tier uh, pretty quick. Quick disclaimer, I'm going to get my Johns out there now. Um, if I do fail to do very well, I, I blame the fact that I haven't played in a very long time. So my opponent has a mono dark team. Uh, which is interesting. So, what do I want to do? Um, Charizard outspeeds the whole team. And Torkoal does give me weather control over the Tyranitar, if he decides to bring it. Um, I don't remember if I have Brick Break on anything. Uh, I don't think I do. Which is annoying. So I... I don't see any reason not to lead Komoo. Maybe Stonjourner as well. And then I bring the Torkoal and the Charizard in the back. Leaving Shiftry and... I don't see Shiftry doing much this game. Gastrodon, he doesn't have any water types. So yeah, we're going to go Komoo. Stonjourner first. Uh, we're going to go with Torkoal and the Charizard. So I am close combat White Herb, so any sort of defense drops I can ignore. I just have to be careful in case that uh, Grimmsnarl has Spirit Break, I guess. Um, White Herb also helps me against Intimidate Scrafty. Uh, lets me hit hard. Komoro might actually be the Mon that I want to Dynamax here. We'll find out. Um, oh, I forgot how good the music in this game was. So we've got the... Okay, we've got the Hydreigon and the Grim Snarl. So, what do I want to do? I am Focus Sash on... Uh, Stonjourner. And if anything is going to happen... I think that either the Grim Snarl is going to attack my Komoo, or it's going to spirit. Uh, it's going to let set up lights, uh, reflect something like that. So I wonder if I should Dynamax and uh, do I want a Wormwind or Knuckle? Knuckle does raise my attack. That lowers the attack. I'm going to go Max Knuckle on the High Dragon. And I'm going to... I'm just going to Rock Slide for a bit of extra damage. Stonchurn hits incredibly hard. Um, obviously with Power Spot as well. 
I reckon that close combat is going to do a hell of a lot of damage. Question is, can Komoo tank a dragon move? I expect it probably can. And I don't know if High Dragon can tank in close combat, because Komoo is just bulky, naturally. I've got a bit of investment in the defense. He goes for the fake out on the Komoo. That isn't going to work, my friend, because I did decide to... Uh... Okay, this turn's working out perfectly for me, because Stun Jenner is going to take the hit with Focus Sash, and that's going to be a dead, uh, a very dead High Dragon. That's a Life Orb High Dragon, too. So close combat is going to... Oh, sorry, not close combat. Max Knuckle is going to land. We are going to get that nice attack raise. So even if my opponent does decide to uh, reflect this next turn, we're going to be doing a lot of damage still, which is nice. And we've still got that White Herb in case my opponent does want to intimidate or anything. And actually, because we killed that... Um, oh my god, that done so much damage. Because we killed the High Dragon, obviously we got to focus down the uh, Grim Snarl on its own. So we're in a really good position here. Like, my opponent didn't get much off at all. Scrafty comes in, so the White Herb is going to activate, which is awesome. He could fake out my... He could fake out my... Uh, I wonder if I want to Rock Fall here. Or do I Max Knuckle? So he might fake out again with Scrafty. So I feel like Max Knuckling... The Grimmsnarl is the play. Because if he attacks me, I'm going to outspeed it and kill it. And I'm going to protect with Storm Journer. Because he might fake out the Storm Journer. It's going to do more than 1 HP damage. So. See what my opponent does. He's not in a good position, if I'm honest. Um, I think that... I mean, he's still got his uh, Dynamax in the back. But if he's got Tyranitar... Uh, it's not going to look good. He goes for the Sucker Punch. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to kill the uh, the Grim Snarl here. Didn't... I'm wondering if it's like a more offensive Grim Snarl. I don't know if Grim Snarl usually carries Fake Out. I'm pretty sure it usually carries Thunder Wave, Reflect, Light Screen, Foul Play, something like that. Oh, it's Sucker Punch from that Grim Snarl. Sorry, I assumed the Sucker Punch was from Scrafty. I didn't even know Scrafty gets Sucker Punch now that I think about it. We have got one turn left of the... Okay, so he's going to Dynamax the uh, the Shiftry 100%. Do I want to max... I want to max Knuckle. What have I got left? Charizard. Okay, I think Charizard's got this either way. Um, but to be extra sure, I'm going to max Knuckle the Shiftry. The Shiftry is definitely more of a threat at this point. I'm going to... What could this thing do? He could have Heat Wave. He could have... I don't know if there's anything that he could have that will hit on both sides, so I'm just going to Rock Slide. I don't see Komoro dying this turn. Okay, my opponent just forfeits. So, that was a nice and easy first game. Not going to lie, probably not the most entertaining, because it only lasted two turns, but... Komoro kind of highlighting how much of a threat it can be, although my opponent's team was Mono Dark and just didn't have any way of killing killing me. I find it weird that you would be weak to fighting on such a team and not carry something like Play Rough on Grimmsnarl. It's a bit confusing. But we'll go again. Um, hopefully we'll get a game which is a bit closer this time. I hardly went anywhere. I'm assuming my opponent wasn't ranked very high <laughs> in, uh, from that last battle, so hopefully this next game kind of puts us up a little bit more. So what is the team we're up against? So we've got Beware, Gudra, Jellicent, Tyranitar, uh, what's that thing called? The, the horse thing, Ferrothorn. So this could be a Trick Room team, could be, but I think if it is, that my Torkoal outslows everything. Which is interesting. Um, Shiftry has a decent matchup here. Actually, Komoo has a decent matchup again. I mean, my opponent has nothing for Komoo, really. Uh, other than maybe Jellicent will Wisping. I'm tempted to lead the same lineup again. Um, 
I'm actually tempted to bring the same team again. Let's just do it. Let's just bring Como, Stonjana, Torkoal, and the Charizard, and see how that goes for us. I just need to kill the uh, Jellison. If it's Trick Room Jellison, I don't know if it's going to be speedy to get the Trick Room up, or if it's slow to benefit from Trick Room. So if I see a Jellison lead, I'm taking that thing down. Um... Because that is no bueno. You do not want to face that. So it's Jellison and Mudsdale. So there's going to be... There's going to be... Uh... Do I... I want a Dynamax here. Do I want a Dynamax? So I could Dynamax and Dragon Claw. Um, to lower the attack of... The Mudsdale. That's what it's called. I remember now. And then what I can also do is Stomping Tantrum, or even Rock Slide, and probably take out the Jellicent. I think I'm going to do that. Um, because I don't think he's going to be able to do much damage to Mudsdale as it is. Uh, sorry, to Como as it is with these two. He could Will-O-Wisp, which wouldn't be fun at all. Um... I'm definitely going to go first, so he's not going to be getting any, like, water spouts and that shenanigans. Stonjana's going to live. Um, the only thing that's going to outspeed is Jellison. I don't even know if my Stel can outspeed my Stonjana set, to be honest. Because I am, I have got, actually got a little bit of speed investment in my Stonjana. There was, it was for some reason, I can't remember what. I had a lot of damage, but I don't think Stomping Tantrum is going to kill. Which is annoying, uh, especially not now because he has the berry. Okay, that's annoying. And here comes the... Just just crit it, please. Would Stomping Tantrum have killed? Uh, Stomping Tantrum might have killed about the berry, you know. He goes for the Heavy Slam. What's that on? Stomp Jonas. Stomp Jonas going to tank that. Does he set up Trick Room? That's a Life Orb one as well. Interesting. He just set up Trick Room. Okay. Um... Komo is not feeling too friend here. I could just max one wind the Jellicent again and protect with my Stonjourner. Is he going to trick Krim at all? Uh, is he going to Dynamax here? With either of them. He could Dynamax the Mudsdale, but a minus one attack, I don't know if he wants to. He might. He's thinking about his play here, so he might switch out. I mean, the school seems pretty, like, free on Stonjana now. So my opponent is... Is he going to protect? I don't think so, because I think he would have protected first. So he does Rock Slide. Okay, I could have potentially Wide Guarded, but Rock Slide's not going to do anything to Komo. Look, that does nothing. That's Life Orb. That's actually hilarious. He does school to the Stonjana slot. Okay, so Jellicent's going to go down. Perfect. And now this Mudsdale is at minus two. So Mudsdale isn't really a threat anymore. Like, at all. Not even to some journal. So that's really good. Um, I don't think he has anything in the back that can, like, come in and one-shot my Komoa. So Komoa is going to get one last big hit off. It's Ferrothorn. Okay, so I definitely... Um, Ah, uh, thing is, he's gonna. What's he gonna do? So he rock slided last turn. Is rock slide gonna do anything? Because he's at minus two. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna max knuckle the ferroform, and I'm gonna switch into torkoal. Because rock slide or earthquake isn't gonna do a lot to me. Um, and Ferroform can't do anything to Torkoal either. So I'm fine with this. We're going to set up the Drought too. And I do have the Berry as well. So my opponent does protect the Mudsdale. Okay, that's actually really good. Torkoal's now in. The Gyro Ball is going to hit the... Oh, the Torkoal. That done nothing. Eruption is still going to be doing so much damage right now. And I'm going to get that plus one attack from the Max Knuckle. Just a, so much damage. So much damage. My opponent still hasn't Dynamax though. And I, I don't remember what he had in the back now that he could potentially use to Dynamax. 
Kamoa is putting in so much work. Like, Charizard is meant to be the ace in this team. It's clearly not working out that way. Um, let's Dragon Claw the... Oh, actually, do I want to protect? I could protect and erupt here, to be honest. You know what? Let's do it. Eruption. Because this Mudsdale might live the eruption. We are in the sun and we are pretty much at max health, so it's going to be... It's going to be, like, near enough max power. The Gyro Ball comes out, uh, protect on the coma. I am reading this man like a book. We're going to outslow everything. That's a dead Ferroform. Is it a dead Mudsdale? Not quite. You know what? I don't mind if Torkoal goes down at this point. Uh, we're going to have the sun up for Charizard. Uh, the Rock Slide does come out. I am going to protect, but I expect this is going to do nothing. It's not stabbed. He's at minus two. I'm a Torkoal. It does so little. It does so, so little. And he actually dies to Life Orb. So we're four to one. Uh, the Trick Room is still up, so Torque Holder is going to be faster than whatever comes in. I just don't know what it's going to be. What is it? <laughs> He's really thinking about his last pick. Okay, so it's Tyranitar. Okay. So the sand actually comes out. I'm going to uh, just close combat. And to preserve the 4 row like a real dick, I'm going to go back into Sojourner. Plus I get to benefit from the uh, the Sandstorm with Sojourner's absolutely enormous special defense of like face, whatever it is, nothing. He is going to obviously stay in with the Tyranitar, he's going to outspeed me, so not sure what he's going to do, that could save him here, really. I wonder if Max Knuckle will actually kill this thing. It's a Tyranitar. If it's weakness policy, actually, that could be an issue. He goes for the Max Quake, uh, he's probably doing it on Stonjourner. Yeah. We d oh my god, Stonjourner is a god. This is going to be a power spot boosted plus one uh, close combat. Oh, okay, that just ruined that thing's life. And Tyranitar dies, so we win that game 4-0 as well. I think maybe as we've only had these two quick games, um, we'll try and get a third one in here. But Komomo and Sonjourner are doing really well as a, as a partnership. It has to be said. It's not exactly like I came into this thinking I'd be able to show off Charizard. Um... Clearly not, I'm showing off Kamoa instead, so nice win there. Are we going to go up to rank 5? I hope so, because it's a bit easier at the moment. Okay, we do. Cool. Uh, and I get some battle points too. I actually really need those, because I really need to buy some more items. I need a life orb <laughs> for um, for another team I'm building. Um, what? Let's play Oleana's theme. I can't remember how it goes, I just remember it's a banger. Our final opponent is going to be ELQK. Okay. EL quick, L quick, maybe. So he has, oh, he has the Dracovish, Whimsicott, Lucario, okay, Braviary, Arcanine, and uh, Mimikyu. So pretty standard team, really. Um, it's the Tailwind into Dracovish combo, which is going to be spooky. I do have Icy Wind, though, on my Gastrodon, so that could work quite nicely. Um, Kamoro kind of has a nice and not a nice matchup, which is frustrating. Um, Charizard has a really good matchup, I would say, personally. Um, so Torkoal might need to come as well. But what comes in the final slot? We've got Torkoal, Gastron, Charizard. <sighs> Maybe does Stonjourner do anything for me this game? I mean, it does well against the Arcanine, it does well against Braviary. But so, Kamoo could also do some work. I'm going to lead Torkoal, Charizard, bring Gastrodon in the back. If he leads Dracovish, I go straight into the Gastrodon. And... Uh, what do I want to bring last? Let's see, Shiftry, I think I have Sucker Punch on it. Shift tree, right. Sucker Punch could be huge for me. 
uh, against the Dracovish. Uh, that was a, that was like a really last second decision. Like, so if this doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So we'll see how this goes. If he leads, he'll probably lead Whimsicott. Uh, he could lead Whimsicott Lucario. I didn't think of Lucario actually. That was yeah, he does lead Whimsicott Lucario. Um. Okay, so he's gonna beat up. I think my play here is to actually just Eruption Heatwave, because he can't kill me, if he beat ups, he can only target one of me. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Do I Dynamax Charizard? No, I'm not going to Dynamax Charizard. I probably should have. Oh, Lucario is actually going to protect. Okay. So is he, he's tailwinding then. Yeah, right. Okay, so Whimsicott's going to go down. Do not miss. Do not miss this heat wave, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. Okay. Whimsicott should be dead. Now this just gives him a chance to beat up. Um, which is really bad. I think I'm going to have to keep Gastrodon in the back and Dynamax that more than anything. Um, no, I don't want to Dynamax that. I'm going to protect my Torkoal. Do I want to protect Torkoal? No, you know what? I'm going to Eruption. I'm going to make the same play. I'm going to Eruption in Heat Wave. Because that way, dead, one of them is dying. Okay, Lucario Earthquakes. That's okay. Right. My opponent really isn't playing this as I expected. He's just killed his Whimsicott off, and now Lucario is going to die to Heat Wave. Hey. Okay. Right, whatever. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, Eruption still nearly kills. Of course it does. Like, I... <laughs> Charizard clearly doesn't want to... Okay, Dracofish comes in. That is fine. Um, What do I want to do? I'm going to double protect, actually, just to stall a turn of Trick Room... Uh, Tailwind. I'm going to do that. Why not? Let's see what my opponent wants to do. Uh, I expect he's going to fish his rend, the Charizard, by him Tailwind, because why wouldn't you? He goes combats the Torkoal. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Uh, fish his rend into Charizard. Yeah, like I thought. Okay, so I'm going to make the play and switch Torkoal out into Gastrodon. And I'm going to Heat Wave. So it's, I could have Dynamax Charizard, really. Dynamax Charizard with Life Orb Solar Power in the sun is actually unstoppable. Like, there is literally nothing that stops it. It's actually gross. So in comes the Gastrodon. Uh, close combat, the Gastrodon. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Right, so Storm Drain will take the Fish's Ren, though. Heatwave should just... For the love of God, just please kill <laughs> this Lucario. I mean, Dracovish can't do anything now. Please hit. Thank you. Oh my God, that's... Yeah, okay, right. That was so frustrating that I just had to miss all those moves. Depending on what the last one is, I might just be able to Dynamax Charizard and kill everything. The only downside, obviously, was Solar Power. Uh, Life Orb is that you do lose a lot of HP. So it's a, it's a fair trade-off. This is why Dynamax and Charizard are so good, because then it just loses like a normal amount. Okay, so Mimikyu. Um, hmm. What have I got in the back? Torkoal and Shiftry. So I need to. I want to keep Gastron alive.
because of the Dracovish. Dracovish can't do anything while Gastrodon is alive. I'm going to Dynamax and I'm going to max Airstream Dracovish. I, like, I'm actually in a really bad position here because of this Mimikyu. I'm only Dynamaxing because it might let me live a move from the Mimikyu. Dracovish can't touch me. The only way that I'm going to die here is if he Dynamaxes Mimikyu, which they should do. But I think my opponent has to focus down Gastrodon. Otherwise, Dracovish can't do anything. What is my opponent going to do? So I protect. And I'm going to Storm Drain. Right, so I Airstream. I forgot Tailwind ended. I didn't... Yeah, he did Tailwind. Right, Dracovish dies. That's perfect. I think with what I have left, I will be able to... Uh, should be able to see this out. Should. So he does Starfall the... I'm assuming Gastrodon. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's like all. Mm. Right, so sun's gone. So actually, I don't lose any health to solar power, which is huge. I'm going to recover. Or do I want an icy wind? Actually, icy wind's probably the play. I'm going to outspeed with Charizard. He can't. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think we've got this, because he has to go for Charizard here. If he wants to have a chance of winning. Because Charizard just outspeeds. So we break the Disguise, which is fine. It's going to lose some health. Icy Wind is going to lower his speed, which means... Shift Tree should outspeed next turn. And if he doesn't just attack my Charizard. Yeah, he attacks my Charizard, which is the correct play. So I'm glad I Icy Wind there. Um, Shift Tree's finally going to get to do something, which is nice. I could also go Torkoal. Um, I think Torkoal will be fine. But we'll go Shift Tree first, just because it gives my opponent something extra to think about. Actually, that, that did a lot of damage. I'm at plus two, actually, aren't I? So, makes sense. Alright, Shift Tree, it's your time to shine, buddy. I do have Brick Break on my Shift Tree. Okay. Um, I also have Solar Blade because memes. Um, I might actually do that right here. Are you ready for this? Uh, switch into Torkoal. <laughs> and we will Solar Blade the Mimikyu. This is how to throw a game 101, people. You go for style, <laughs> and it doesn't work. Um, the Dynamax does end, so I don't see my opponent having a way of actually beating Torkoal and uh, Gastrodon. Alright, so Solar Blade is going to do a lot of damage. Nice! So he goes for Starfall on the Shift Tree, obviously, and that is going to kill Shift Tree. Yeah! <laughs> so Mimikyu is going to now... Oh, that was a crit. Now they're mad. Shift Tree, you did so much work, my man. Um... Mimikyu is going to obviously now have to kill one of the two. Actually, if it kills Torkoal, I don't think he can kill Torkoal. Torkoal's too bulky. Um, let's Flamethrower into Mimikyu and Earth Power into... I'm going to recover just in case, I think. Like, I don't think he can kill Torkoal. Shadow Claw, unless he crits, actually. No, even a crit wouldn't have killed me, I don't think. And I'm going to get my berry. I'm going to recover with Gastrodon first, just to assert dominance. Yeah, I'm, I don't want you winning this game. I want you to know that you're in a losing position. 
Um, and we are going to take this win 2-0. So that was the closer game of the three we had. Um, yeah, maybe Q just dies. So that was a much tighter, uh, better game, I have to say, compared to the other two. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that last one. So we do win again. We're, we're starting off the season well. Nice 3-0. Um, Charizard kind of showing off what it can do in the last game, but I have to say the real MVP of this this video was Kamoa. Um, oh, I got a HP up too. Thank you, game. Thanks. Um, let's quit the battles. Let's just see where I do place now uh, in the rankings. I am hope that's enough to put me up to rank 6. Because I feel like we need some tougher games. I want to get to that uh, that max rank just to get some, some real good battles going on in here. Are we going to go up to rank 6? Not quite. We're going to be tier 5 next time, uh, next video. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, uh, subscribe. If you did enjoy the video and want to see more, leave some comments. Um, you guys did leave some real cool comments telling me sort of, what, sort of like what teams you were running um, before the VGC rule set came live. So if you guys want to tell me what you're doing now, VGC is live. Um, are there any cool strats you're trying out that you, know, you think could work? Let me know. Always happy to hear what you guys have to say. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.